Soon, it won't be just cops who pump the brakes on drunk drivers, but detection technology inside of the car, on the gear shift, the start button, or even on the steering wheel. Ken Snyder knows all too well what the consequences of drunk driving can look like. His daughter, taken from him too soon after visiting her babies in the NICU one night. They were about seven weeks old and she was hit and killed one night on her way back from the hospital by a woman that was driving 95 miles an hour on a city street. That driver, he says, was drunk. Roughly 10,000 people are killed due to alcohol-related crashes every year, according to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. In Nevada, drunk driving remains a problem, especially this time of year. That is the reality that we're facing as we're expecting to lose anywhere from 60 to 90 lives in between now and New Year's Eve, and that's way too many. Snyder now volunteers with Mothers Against Drunk Driving and conducts university research on anti-drunk driving tech in new cars. We found over 240 examples of technology that could be used to address this. Volvo has already been working on installing drunk driving detection tech. Theirs primarily uses cameras. Say, for example, the cameras register that the driver has taken their eyes off the road for enough time to create a risk. The car would then engage the safety support systems and issue a reminder to drive with care. If the driver doesn't respond to this, the car enters an emergency state. And if the behavior still doesn't improve? An emergency stop is activated, at which time the car safely pulls over to a stop. Now U.S. government officials have to decide which technology is best to mandate. We don't care which technology they pick. We just want NHTSA to look at all of the options. Snyder says he hopes the signing of this law will prevent other families from experiencing a similar tragedy and says he's thinking of his daughter on this historic day. I'm hoping that she's happy with this. Now, many in the auto industry oppose this mandate, some expressing concern that the technology could backfire or prove ineffective in detecting impairment. We will continue to follow, follow this, and I will bring you more on this coming up in our 5 o'clock newscast. Reporting live, I'm Maddie White, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.